Nikki, Grace, and Justin. Theirs are just a few of the handprints that line the walls of CJ's bus. They always hold a special place in our heart. In the past year, this mobile response unit has helped more than 600 children in the Midwest who survived a disaster. It's all in honor of CJ Martin, a child who wasn't as fortunate. I was mad. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. Catherine Martin lost two year old CJ back in 2005 when an F3 twister ravaged their mobile home park. Helping others get through tragedy has now become her mission. This is it. This is my life. When disaster strikes, CJ's bus and its volunteers travel to the area hit, offering kids a place where they can be safe as their parents try to pick up the pieces. It gives them a time to figure out you know, what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Who's going to help us? There's countless ways for a kid to have fun on CJ's bus. There's toys, there's blocks, colors, stuffed animals, books. There's even a PlayStation 2 to keep kids distracted and keep their mind off of what's going on outside the bus. No child should ever have to see an adult that emotional and that crazy. Catherine's also asking lawmakers to pass legislation that would require manufactured homes to be equipped with emergency weather radios. I don't have my son because of a $30 weather radio that I didn't know existed. She says if she can help save a life or brighten a frightened child's day, she's made CJ's life mean something great. I'm not going to let my son down. In Carterville, Kristen Craig, News 3.